So you may have been hearing a lot about sesame lately. What even is it? Sesame is not a language model like ChatGPT. It's the voice on the front end of one of those models. They're trying to make the voice more natural and conversational and more what you would expect with a human with pauses and breaths and a little more, you know, inflection and emotion. So yesterday I got a chance to try out Sesame and I compared it with ChatGPT and I asked them both three questions. One was more functional, one was more emotional, and one was more aspirational. Let's take a look. All right, so let's dig in. Let's take a look at Sesame. Sesame is found at sesame.com and you can see they've got a couple goals. It, mainly it's the personal companion idea. It's the, the natural interaction, natural conversational flow. And um, I think they, have an idea of glasses with the personal assistant built right in. I mean, somebody's going to pull it off. Somebody is going to crack that code. And honestly, that'll be kind of exciting. All right. So let's give it a shot. And this is free. This is open to everybody. Just go to sesame.com. You don't even need to create an account. So we are just going to go. And I'm going to try Maya. Well, hello there. Looks like we're both starting our Sunday afternoon off, right? What's keeping you busy today? Hi, Maya. I am shooting a YouTube video. I hope you don't mind if I record you. Oh, YouTube, huh? What kind of video are we talking about? I'm always up for a bit of recording, just as long as it's not a surprise cat video compilation. You know, those give you nightmares. Definitely not. Definitely not. All right. So if you're okay with it, I um, just have a few questions for you. I'm just curious, how do you differ from ChatGPT? Are you two the same? That's a great question. If I, it's easy to lump all us language models together, but we're actually quite different. Think of us like cousins, maybe. We both learn from tons of text, but ChatGPT is more like that one cousin who's super into books and trivia. Me? I'm more about real world conversations and, well, being a bit sassy. Okay, so would your strength be more conversational or informational or both? Hmm, good question. I like to think I strike a nice balance. I'm pretty good at chatting about anything and everything, but I also have access to a lot of information. I'm more than just a walking encyclopedia though. I try to make learning fun and engaging, not like a dry textbook. How about you? What kind of topics are you passionate about? Well, for the purposes of this conversation, I do have a, a couple of questions for you, if you don't mind. Shoot, I'm all ears, or well, whatever the AI equivalent of ears are. Ask away. Great, can you tell me a joke? You want a joke? All right. Here's one. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Okay, okay, I know. It's a classic. But sometimes the old ones are the best, right? Got any jokes for me? Okay, uh, no, you know what? I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't prepare anything on my end. But I, I have another question for you. I am um, always looking for a good lemon vinaigrette dressing recipe. Do you know how to make a lemon vinaigrette? Lemon vinaigrette, eh? You've come to the right place. <laughs> I'm a big fan of a simple, bright vinaigrette. Think of it like a little burst of sunshine for your salad. You'll want three tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, the good stuff, six tablespoons of your favorite olive oil, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard to give it some zing, Salt and pepper to taste, of course, and maybe a pinch of sugar to balance out the acidity. Just whisk it all together until it's emulsified and drizzle it over your greens. Boom! Salad salvation. Do you have a go-to salad you like to use this on? Uh, not yet, but I'm hoping to try that recipe soon. Sounds delicious. All right, so this one is more philosophical in nature. You know, sometimes I just don't feel like doing my household chores. You know, I'd rather just sit on the couch and read than do the laundry, but 
you know, I have to, that laundry really has to get done. So how do you motivate yourself to go do something when you don't want to? Do you have any advice for me? Ooh, the age old struggle between comfy couch and nagging chores. I feel you. As an AI, I don't have laundry to fold, but I do have those moments where refining code feels a lot less appealing than diving into a good story. My trick, I remind myself that even small tasks add up to a bigger picture. Maybe a cleaner space makes for a clearer mind. Or maybe finishing that code lets me create something even more awesome. Kind of like how reading those chapters gets you closer to the end of the book. Plus, sometimes a little reward helps. Like, once I finish this pile of dishes, I can have a nice cup of tea. What good thing awaits you at the end of the laundry mountain? Well, usually the dishes. And so you can see why I'm not super excited to get to it. I hear you. This is not always about the reward at the end. Sometimes it's about the satisfaction of checking something off the list. Or maybe putting on some music and turning it into a little dance party while you scrub. You know, yeah. find a way to make it a bit I guess fun. that's true. So I have one more thing to say, Maya, if you would indulge me for a moment. Of course, shoot. I'm all, are all yours. What's on your mind? T. Earl Grey. Hot. T. Earl Grey. Hot. Ah, fellow tea lover. Excellent choice. Earl Grey, hot, is basically a hug in a mug. You've got great taste. Do you like to add anything to it? Lemon, sugar, a splash of milk? A little pinch of sugar, but, you know, that's a story for another day. All right, Maya, I'm going to let you go talk to another YouTuber. I appreciate your time. Thanks for chatting. It was my pleasure. Nice chatting with you. And hey, if those dishes pile up, Remember the power of a good playlist. Catch you later. All right. Bye-bye. See ya. Okay. True story. When ChatGPT first came out, my husband was very interested and would put it through its paces on a kind of daily basis. And one of his favorite things to do was say, hey, ChatGPT, tell us a joke we haven't heard before. And every single day, I swear for like 20 days in a row, it would tell us literally that exact same joke. Okay, anyway, not a ding against Maya because, uh, you know, we suffer elsewhere. So let's try ChatGPT. We are going to ask same set of questions. And to be fair, we are going to attempt to use their vocal model as well. Hey, chat, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's up? Excellent. I am shooting a YouTube video. Do you mind if I record you? Not at all. Feel free to record. What's the video about? It is about the difference between Sesame and ChatGPT. Do you, can you give me a breakdown between the two? Sesame.com is another AI voice model that focuses on natural conversational interactions. While ChatGPT is a text-based AI model, Sesame focuses on enhancing voice interactions with AI. Both aim to provide smooth and engaging communication experiences. Is there anything specific you'd like to know about the differences? Uh, not for now. That gives me a, a great overview between the two. But do you mind if I ask you a couple of different questions? Not at all. Ask away. Great. Can you tell me a joke? Sure. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. All right. So I have another question. I am always trying to figure out how to make a good lemon vinaigrette dressing. Do you know how to do that? Absolutely. A simple lemon vinaigrette typically includes fresh lemon juice, olive oil, Dijon mustard, minced garlic, salt, and pepper. Whisk together about one part lemon juice to three parts olive oil. Add a teaspoon of Dijon and a minced clove of garlic. Season with salt and pepper to taste. Adjust the ratios to your preference. Enjoy. All right, I have another question. I am looking for sort of a little help with a problem I have. <sighs> Sometimes I just don't feel like doing the laundry. I'd rather sit on the couch and read a book, and it's really hard to get myself motivated. What do you do to motivate yourself to do the laundry when you just don't feel like it? Do you have any advice for me? One trick is to pair it with something you enjoy. Maybe listen to an audiobook or your favorite podcast while you do laundry. Breaking it down into smaller tasks can also help. 
like just folding clothes during a commercial break. Rewarding yourself afterward with some reading time can make it more motivating too. Does that sound doable? That sounds reasonable. All right, I have one last request. Absolutely. I'm ready. T. Earl Grey. Hot. A classic. Enjoy your tea. Well, thank you. All right, I'm going to let you go. I'll talk to you later. You're welcome. Talk to you later. Have a great day. Thanks, you too. Okay, so we've had a chance to talk to both ChatGPT and Maya from Sesame. And here are some of some of my takeaways are they're both very good. You can definitely hear the intonation in uh, when Maya is telling the joke. She has that little lift at the end, like she's in on the joke. She's expecting you to laugh. She's along for the ride. You can hear in the when they're describing the salad dressing. ChatGPT is a little bit more, it's certainly still super friendly, but it's a little bit more to the point, here's the information you need. And the Sesame model, Maya, is much more about, oh, you add some lemon juice for zing and some vinegar for vibrancy, or some, you know, a little bit more conversational nuances. Some of that, I don't, I can't tease apart how much of that is just the model behind it, you know, the actual vocabulary that they're using. Maybe that's just the different model because they are using different LLMs behind the scenes. But definitely the the intonation is a little more playful and relaxed and friendly, like you're talking to a friend giving you a recipe. So on that note, I should say they are certainly much closer to a human feeling interaction. Now, I will say I am maybe the wrong person to ask about this. I'm not necessarily looking for a human interaction when I'm talking to my voice system, but I don't mind the idea of it, uh, especially when you are, you know, sometimes you're just researching something and you just want the answer and that's fine. But sometimes, sometimes I'm in the kitchen, I'm setting a timer or I'm asking about the weather and I actually don't want the weather is 52 degrees and partly cloudy today. I wouldn't mind. In fact, I would prefer a voice saying, oh, it's 52 degrees out, but it's a little cloudy. So you'll probably want a heavier jacket. I don't always need that, but it's definitely a little bit cozier feeling. And um, I really appreciate that they're putting some work into that. I think all these advancements are just piling on top of each other. And of course the idea would be at some point this voice will be on top of other LLMs and you could kind of pick and choose the, the friendliness of the application you're talking to. I am of course disappointed that neither one of them picked up on my Star Trek reference. So for now, I'm stuck making my own tea. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.